BT Cotton and Biotech Corn. They have been proven to contain the promise of higher yield and higher income. But these biotech crops only provide potential benefits. It takes pathways to make the life-changing impact of biotechnology relevant and real. India, China and the Philippines hold 85% of the world's farmers who plant biotech crops or approximately more than 15 million farmers. By meeting three of them, an experienced farmer from India, a Chinese farmer who firmly believes in science, and a farmer community leader from the Philippines, we are provided a glimpse on how their countries successfully adopted biotech crops. Sudakar Bazural Bunker lives in the city of Warda, located in the eastern part of India's third largest state, Maharashtra. Sudakar is a seasoned farmer who was introduced to BT cotton. I have been in the farming business for the past 25 to 30 years. In Maharashtra, cotton is one of the top rated crops in the farming business. That is why everybody is interested in growing cotton. Like most farmers in India, Sudhakar was introduced to biotech crops through field demonstrations set up by seed companies. We used to farm in a traditional way, but today we use science and technology to improve our farming and save money. In China, the government played an active role in introducing BT cotton to farmers right from the beginning. Local workers and agricultural traders who were educated about the technology brought the knowledge to the villages. Li Wenzhe is a farmer from Xinji, a city in the agricultural province of Hubei, northern China. He believes in adopting scientific technology to improve his farming. A food and agriculture company introduced the advantages of BT cotton in our village. They encouraged us to plant BT cotton because it has lots of benefits compared to the conventional cotton. Similar to their Indian counterparts, Filipino farmers were introduced to biotech crops by seed companies, and the government also played a part in educating farmers about biotech corn. Aquino Gozun of Pampanga, a province north of Manila, is a farmer and community leader who helped spread the word about biotech corn to his village. I started planting biotech corn back in 2004 when officers from the Provincial Agriculture Office taught us about it through a farming demonstration. Getting benefits that they did not experience with conventional varieties, farmers became promoters of biotech crops. BT cotton helped farmers to save more money as it reduced labor costs for pesticide spraying. We renovated our house, bought a new tractor, and a color TV. One employee from the census department told me, your community is progressive. Pleased with their experience, the farmers started introducing biotech crops to their peers, spreading the knowledge and rewards of the technology. Hello. 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 
the production of BD cotton is higher than traditional variety by more than 50%. BD cotton is really good. It's productive, it's profitable, and it saves labor and pesticide. I always told others about the high yield and other advantages of BD cotton. Over 90% of them agreed with me. The following year, nearly the whole village began to plant BD cotton. Witnessing the BT cotton production in our village, our relatives and friends from other villages became interested with this variety. I introduced BT cotton to them. Now, they also plant BT cotton. My father used to grow non-BT cotton, but with the help of our government, we shifted to BT cotton. Before, our yield was 600 to 700 kilograms per acre, but with the BT cotton, it increased to 800 to 900 kilograms per acre with less expenditure. I started planting biotech corn when my siblings saw that we're a failure in farming. She told me to plant biotech corn so we can have a good harvest. Our neighboring farmer told me that biotech corn is good, it's pest resistant, and harvest is plenty. We were able to pay for our children's tuition fee, debts, and my family was able to enjoy shopping and bonding activities. While biotech crops have been proven to be very advantageous and even life-changing to farmers, challenges still loom. China faces limited knowledge on the technology due to lack of information sharing. Village elders also need to take a more active role in promoting biotech crops. In India, the unavailability of desired BT cotton seeds, unstandardized cotton seed prices, and the threat of other pests add up to the prevalent problem of high cost of farming needs. And in the Philippines, farmers continue to have problems with common farming pests such as plant hoppers, black bugs, crickets, and rats in spite of planting biotech crops. The low buying price of traders is also a key obstacle in earning substantial profit. Farmers have learned to cope with these challenges, but they still hope that the government and other sectors could further help them. I hope the government will update us more with the latest technology on BT crops since current researches on biotech crops are increasing. The selling price of BT cotton is low. They could at least increase the cost of cotton, right? The Agriculture Research Institute should also focus their research on controlling other pests and diseases affecting BT cotton. Our cooperative made a resolution asking our government to help our community in acquiring post-harvest facilities that we cannot afford. From public and private institutions, to the farmers and their communities, everyone plays a role in spreading awareness about the life-changing benefits of adopting biotech crops. In the process, pathways to adoption are discovered to more effectively reach other farmers and create mind shifts that translate to the improvement of their lives. families
communities and countries.